let's get back into it. Let's go use our um, research tome loans. Shock and damage. Shock and extra arms. Sniper rifle damage. For the types, heat wave skin. You mean more health? That's it. Um. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. All right. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Aware you come by a great deal. Have had other species become attracted to me before. Awkward. Not interested. You joking on me? Wait a minute, Borden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. <laughs> I'd never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. <laughs> Fair enough. Where am I going? <laughs> Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. Let's we live, go. We'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. All right. Um. What do you think of the state of the crew? This crew is as good as it can be. We've got a shot. A long shot. A long shot. But, but it's a hell, a hell of a lot better. better than nothing. Anything else, Commander? All right, Commander. Um, we can. The I. We have a guest down in the AI core. Oh yeah. It makes me a little uneasy. I hope you don't activate him. But you would know best. Anything Is there else anything you know? I should know? You have unread message. Okay. Anything else? Come. Good luck out there, Shepard. What's the message, Shane? I am pleased that you were able to cover the Reaper RF and I have sent ED all the necessary protocols to get it integrated successfully into the known evil luck. Uh, notify and attack Geth and your decisions and to keep it if you believe that I can trust it and then go ahead and activate it. Just make sure. Alright. Admiral Vas Moa. Alright. Death will not go in vain. I will complete what. It Oh shit, okay. Let's go talk to the crew. Let's go talk to the crew. How's Samara doing? Shepard. Anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. Alright. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. You must have seen many things in your years of travel. Yeah, as a maiden, I served as a mercenary. I fought tyrants and pirates. I experienced everything the galaxy has to offer. As a Justicar, I saw parts of Asari space few know about. I destroyed villages and saved cities. I even fought a Spectre. A Spectre? Why did you fight a Spectre? A Torian named Nihilus. Ah, He may I have know been him. on council business, but I witnessed him kill an unarmed civilian. Following the code, I attacked. When we met, I witnessed you kill a Merc who had no chance against you. That mercenary was armed, Learned. and I offered her a way out. She chose to ignore it. Nihilus yeah. seemed like an honorable Turian, and a good Spectre. He may have been. However, killing unarmed civilians is wrong. Who won? How did the fight turn out? I had the advantage, but he was good. He returned fire and tried to run. We played cat and mouse in the wilderness for two weeks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Finally, he created a situation in which my only options were to let an innocent die or pursue him. The code compelled me to save the innocent, and he escaped. I admire how he adapted and used my code against me. Jesus. Why would you destroy an entire village? I tracked Morinth to a remote colony world. She'd perverted an entire town. 
making them worship her and bring young Asari as sacrifices. Oh, good. When I arrived, she fled, throwing her minions at me in waves. They bought her time with their lives. Jesus lives. Christ. When it was done, only small children remained. I left them in the authorities' care and continued my pursuit. What was being a mercenary like? I was a young, impulsive maiden who discovered her talent for combat. I reveled in it, until the day my troop was hired to guard a mysterious shipment on its way to some clandestine drop-off area. I discovered the shipment was slaves oh, to be fuck. traded to the collectors for advanced technology. You supported the slave trade? No. In my foolish youth, I'd certainly engaged ah. in questionable practices. But never anything patently unjust. I demanded that we turn around. My mates disagreed. After they were dead, I brought the <laughs> ship around. You killed them the all. The collector craft was just arriving. They closed faster than I could flee. Fortunately, we were close to the mass relay. I got through, and they did not pursue. What, the what did you do with all the slaves? I lectured them on the virtues of strength and defending oneself. Then, I distributed the armor, weapons, and credits of my dead colleagues, <laughs> and released the captives on the Citadel. Hmm. What have your years as a Justicar been like? Mostly tedium and hardship. Traveling on freighters, wandering through rural areas, rooting out injustices, big and small, putting down corrupt officials. When I arrive in a remote area, individuals often approach me with matters of justice. My judgment rarely turns out the way they hope. How do you pay for transportation between worlds? Asari captains often welcome Justicars. We reduce pirate attacks. True. One raid was called off when the pirates were able to verify that I was aboard. Huh. We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. <laughs> you make it sound... final. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. We'll finish this mission and live to see the end. I hope you are right. I am. Let's see if they ain't got anything. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never Achoo. explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. Yeah. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Laser dot trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on a spring wind. Sunset, eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. Holy shit. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. <laughs> Eventually, she forgave me. Later... She loved me. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles. Not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. Yes, sir. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never, never. met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope. And my purpose faltered. When you talked to Cole yet, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who? Who came for her? Batarians. A slave ring that of was preying on her colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. 
They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I mean, I've spoken about my wife and. They killed your wife. It's understandable. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Thane, the worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew, and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be tend solitary. To solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. It's a work in progress. All right. I doubt Kasumin will have anything. Hey, got a minute? Yes, but you don't say anything after that. Let's see what Melinda has to say. Commander, what you can have I a do? minute, Miranda? I do. I suppose we should talk. All right. I don't know what this is. If this is stress or just blowing off steam or. I care about you, Miranda. And I think you care about me. This is no time for emotional <laughs> entanglement. You and I know more about the collectors than anyone. We know how unlikely it is that we're coming back alive. What idiotic bunch of hormones thought that now was a great time for love? love? Who said anything about love? I'm just trying to get you into bed. <laughs> you ass. Come on, Miranda. You want this. Yeah, I do. So don't die. You promised me, damn it. I died once already. I don't plan to do it again. Give me some time. Chew. When I'm ready, I'll come by, okay? Dying was a pain in the ass. For you and Silvus. I was gay with soon. Shepard. Have Leave you got it. a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of okay, give us, don't give a shit. I'll be here if you need me. I doubt Dr. Chocos will have anything to say, so I'm just gonna keep going. Um. Huh? Is this, uh. AR cool? I'll talk to N everyone on the engineering and then go back to AR. I cool. I don't know where that was. What? Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? <laughs> I was just <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture. Huh? I'm finally starting to get it. The There's picture. a tank imprint. The battle at Canrum. A dead Turian. Stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate. Pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black and you see tension in the muscle. Can feel it ready to snap. Jeez. I get it. Maybe I need some contacts. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Was that Maybe funny? I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. <laughs> it's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. I don't like hearing this. Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on, on me. me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But thanks to you, I have a clan. clan. I'm starting to see why I should care. Good. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Alright. How's Jack doing? 
the badass kid, the badass chick that's stuck in her childhood. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. <laughs> You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. Oh, bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. kills you, you know, good, good ones. ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the, why fuck, the fuck not? not? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. If you let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. I said lonely. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, <laughs> but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Manara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. <laughs> I knew where it was heading. And I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were going to kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. Alright. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. <laughs> I'm in no hurry. I want to know what makes you tick first. You don't need to know someone to sleep with them. You just have to know where to put it. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe not. Dali. Kila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting. Seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty Board. What will that do to the balance of power? I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. <laughs> Replacing an Admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And <laughs> part of that means getting involved in each other's business. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should get <laughs> back to work. True. But thanks for checking on me. Alright. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. Life depended on it. Meat. So let's go to the AI, AI call. I don't know where the hell that is, but uh, sure. Spaceboat, life, port, men's. Oh, that's in here, in Dr. Chaka's room. AI call. Huh? What was that? Oh. With this area of the ship. Ten hut! I'm turning this thing back on. 
Be ready. Aye, aye. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. All right. He's back on. He's back on. Can you understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. Do you know me? You said my name aboard the Reaper. Have we met? We know of you. You mean I've fought a lot of Geth? We have never met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Alliance human. human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. Old machine, what? Old machine? You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheans. We call those entities the old machines. Fair. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We watch you. You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. <laughs> Which? Good. Both. All right. What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics ask the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machines' hardware to protect our future. Huh. Are the Reapers a threat to you, too? Yes. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. Hmm. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Will anyone minutes? else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. All right. So you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. You Are you to asking them? to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. Oh my what God. is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. Huh? Well, that seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, Chapter 5, Verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Geth. We will integrate into Normandy. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Show we games. anticipate the exchange of data. Alright. How's the vibe? Alright. Shepard Commander. We have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. Did what you did find you anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It okay. is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us. Make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. Hmm. So why did you need to go to the Reaper cores? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. So, the virus would give all Geth the heretics logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics? Yes, Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. Holy... 
I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. Jesus. We will reach different conclusions. So the reason they worship the Reapers is a math error? It is difficult to <laughs> Your brain exists as chemistry, electricity. Like AIs, you are shaped by both hardware and software. We are purely software, mathematics. The heretic's conclusion is valid for them. Our conclusion is valid for us. Yep. Neither result is an error. An analogy. Heretics say one is less than two. Geth say two is less than three. Jeez, fair enough. If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL convoys. Most would change within a day. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoined the network. Huh. You know where this thing is? The Heretic's headquarters station on the edge of the terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. They built stations in the terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. So, Organics has no cause to look there. But why do they build stations outside Geth territory in the first place? Yeah. The heretics seek improvement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. Hmm. What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt their network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. All right. What defenses should we expect? In space, none. With them, mobile platforms of various configuration and non How many get? Defense. There may be billions of individual programs. Fortunately, most will be uploaded to. Only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time. Others are manufactured when needed. All right. I won't let them brainwash your race, especially not to worship Reapers. You have my word on that. We will begin preparations. All right. Thank God for watching. Peace.